And as he orders thousands of troops to Afghanistan, President Obama has set that date to begin the withdrawal process, July 2011. But is that a realistic deadline? One local expert says yes. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney continues our coverage. She's here to explain why. Yeah, everyone's divided about this exit strategy, and they all have their reasons. Here in Fort Wayne, IPFW political science professor James Lutz is looking to history. He compares Obama's exit strategy to the 2000. 2007 troop surge in Iraq. The general consensus is that was fairly successful in stabilizing the war-torn region. President Obama believes a surge in a short amount of time will speed up the transfer of power to an Afghani government. And Lutz agrees. He says the Iraqi experience suggests there's a realistic chance that Afghani surge will work. He says it's not a slam dunk, but it could create an opening for Afghanistan to set up a stable government. Part of, of the hopes over the course of two years is that it gives you time to train the Afghan army, the security forces, the police, to set up an administration, uh, to set the stage for success. It doesn't necessarily mean it will be successful, but you can at least set the stage for success. And so that is a realistic possibility. And Lutz also adds Afghanistan will be a new democracy, so the first elections won't be like those that we're used to. There are going to be many speed bumps along the way and a lot of election fraud and violence as well. All right. Thank you, Aisha. Mm -hmm.